श्री भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्रील प्रभुपाद के जय स्कंद संस्त भगाचार्य श्रील प्रभुपाद के जय विष्णुपाद परमंश परिव्राज आचार्य अष्ट दर्शत श्रेष्ठ मत भक्ति सिद्धांत सविष्ठा गुरु महाराज श्रील प्रभुपाद के जय आनंद गुरु वैष्णव वृंद के जय नमाचार्य श्रील हरिदास ठाकुर के प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद के जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गौगपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरगवर्धन की जय श्री वृंदावन मथुराधाम की जय श्री मायापूर्ण विधिधाम की जय श्री जगन्नाथ परिधाम की जय गंगा देवी जमुन देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय श्री मतुलसी महाराणी की जय श्री हरिनाम संकीर्तन की जय श्रील प्रभुपाद जनरल बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की जय श्री श्री गौरताय की जय श्री श्री कृष्ण बलराम की जय श्री श्री राधा श्याम सुंदर तरी सदेवी की जय श्री श्री जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्र महाराणी की जय समेत भक्त वृंद की निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि ओम नमः भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमः भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवते उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ठिके मुखंग्रतिभाशालुंगुलंगयते गिरिं यत्कृपातमहं बंदे श्रीगुरुं दीनतारिणं श्रीपरमानंदमाधवं So today we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, Chapter 30, Text 37 and 38. 37, you can just read by yourself. Yeah. So 37 I am just reading by myself and then 38 we can read together. तत्तो गत्तवनो देशं द्रुप्ता के सेवं अभ्रवीत नपारे हं चलितुं नयमं यत्ते मनः ट्रांसलेशन 
as the two lovers pass through one part of the Vrindavan forest, the special gopi began feeling proud of herself. She told Lord Keshava, I cannot walk any further. Please carry me wherever you want to go. Now text 38. Eva Mukta Priyanga Eva Mukta Priyanga Skandaru Yatangiti Skandaru Yatangiti Tatascha Chantra Dadhe Krishna Tatascha Chantra Dadhe Krishna Savadur Annatapyata Eva Mukta Priyanga Skandaru Yatang Iti Skandaru Yatang Iti Tatas Chantar Dade Krishna Savaduru Anvatapyata Eva Mukta Priyanga Skandaru Yatang Iti Tatas Chantar Dade Krishna Savadur Anvatapyata Eva Mukta Priyamha He said, he said, Skande, on my shoulder, shoulder. Aruhyatam, please climb, please climb. Iti, Iti, these words, these words. Tata, Tata, then, then cha, cha, and, and Antardade, Antardade. He, disappeared. he disappeared. Krishna, Krishna. Lord Sri Krishna, Sa, Sa, Si. Badhu, his concert, Annatapyata, felt remorse. Translation, translation and purport by the disciples of Srila Prabhupada. Translation, thus addressed, Lord Krishna replied, Just climb on my shoulder. But as soon as he said this, he disappeared. 
his beloved concert then immediately felt great remorse perpet shrimati radharani was exhibiting the pride of a beautiful girl who has brought her boyfriend under control thus she told krishna please carry me wherever you want to go i cannot walk any more <laughs> shri krishna now disappears from her sight intensifying her ecstatic love more and more Om Magana Timirandhasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshuvan Militan Gena Tasme Shri Gurave Namam Shri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Stapitan Yena Bhutale Shriyam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Sopadhantikam ವಂದೇಹಂಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಗಣಲಿ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಂತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಂಚನ ಗೌರಂಗಿ ರಾಧೇ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವಿಷವಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯೇ ವಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರೋಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧೂಭ್ಯ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾಬಲನ್ನಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಮನೆ ಗೌರತಿಷೆ ನಮ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭೋ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 So here in these verses of Srimad Bhagavatam, the disappearance of Krishna from the company of Radharani has been described. As we all know that Krishna has initially had disappeared from the Rasa dance which he was performing in the land of Vrindavan. Actually in Vrindavan the Rasa dance performed by Lord Krishna was common for all the types of gopis. 
all the types of gopis were present in the rasa dance performed in Vrindavan. That means the rival group of Srimati Radharani, that is Chandravali's group, they were also present and all other types of gopis also present. So when Krishna expanded himself to as many gopis were present in rasa dance, and the rasa dance was going on, then Srimati Radharani developed this man. That means Srimati Radharani actually did not release that rasa dance. Because all types of gopis were present, and Srimati Radharani's special character or supremacy was diminished in that resurgence. So naturally, Srimati Radharani developed this man, and she left the resurgence. And when Srimati Radharani was absent in Rasa dance, Krishna did not release the Rasa dance anymore. So Krishna also left. So when Krishna left and then he took Srimati Radharani with him and they traveled together in different parts of Vrindavan. So, here in the past verse, it is said, Tato Gatva Vano Desang Drupta Keshavam Abravit. So here, when Lord Krishna was uh, enjoying with Srimati Radharani by visiting different parts of Vrindavan, the best parts of Vrindavan, and sometimes was plucking flowers and decorating her bread. So in this way, Krishna was giving pleasure to Srimati Radharani and Srimati Radharani was uh, getting that uh, the pleasure of Sambhoga means union. So here we should never misunderstand Sambhoga as material sex indulgence. Because there is no sex indulgence in the pastimes of Krishna with the gopis. Because unless one is free from sex desires, one cannot even associate with Krishna. So, so this sambhava and vipralambha, union and separation, this is the part of releasing the transcendental conjugal rasa. So now Krishna is giving Srimati Radharani the topmost part of releasing union with him. And that's why it is stated, Tato Gatta Vano Desam Drupta Keshavam Abhravit. So here, Vano Desa, Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, he is explaining Vano Desam means 
बनस्य उत्कृष्ट देश दैट मीन्स द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ वृंदावन फॉरेस्ट सो कृष्ण टूक श्रीमती राधा रानी to the best part of vrindavan forest which was very much pleasurable to look at and relish the atmosphere and when simte radharani was thus was releasing the conjugal mellows with krishna then naturally she developed some sort of pride or <coughs> become feeling herself very fortunate that krishna has given up all other gopis and he has brought her alone to the best part of vrindavan forest so Shrimati Radharani was feeling very happy and also a little proud that she the best gopi and also Srila Sukadeva Goswami time to time is uh, mentioning instead of mentioning Radharani's name he is also men mentioning the best gopi or the topmost gopi so simati radharani told kesava krishna so here kesava means kesava has so many different meanings so here specifically lord krishna had decorated radharani's hair as we have already read previously on the way he was plucking flowers and decorating rather than his hair so that's why he is also called kesava hmm. he was decorating the hair of simati radhara and kesava also means that who has very nice curly hairs krishna also has nice curly hairs so he is also called kesava and another meaning of kesava is ka means brahma sa means shiva who is the lord of brahma and shiva he is also called kesava so anyway kesava ang abhrabit simati radharani told lord kesava krishna who had recently decorated her hair napara hum chalitu i cannot walk further anymore because radharani was feeling tired by walking with krishna throughout vrindavan forest so she says naparam chalitu nayamang yatra te mana so when simate radharani said like this then lord krishna told simati radharani that we will go to another part of vrindavan forest which is even better than this part of vrindavan forest and we can also take rest in the flower bed there so then simati radharani said nayamang yatra te mana okay you take wherever you want so here shla <coughs> bisna chakravarti thakur explains that gen in general radharani has a bamya swabhav bamya swabhav means leftist mood that means she would not surrender to her lover krishna 
so quickly or so easily. Generally, that type of heroines are called Bhamya, leftists, left wing. And the lover, who is very favorable to the beloved, he is called Dakshina Sabhav, means right wing, means favorable lover. So here we see Srimati Radharani is naturally left wing gopi, and she has this Bhamma Sabhav, but when in this case Krishna asked her to go to the another part of Vrindavan and take a rest there in flower bed, Srimati Radharani immediately agreed and told Krishna that, okay, take me wherever you want. That means she left her Bhamma the left wing move. So then, Krishna thought to release Sringar Rasa to the topmost point, then this is a natural good combination of left wing and right wing move. But if the beloved is in right wing move and the lover is is also right wing mood, then the rasa cannot be realized to the topmost point. And if the beloved is in left wing mood and the lover is in left wing mood, then also the rasa cannot be attained to the topmost situation, parallelism. So that has to be left wing and right wing. <laughs> so you, now Srimati Radharani surrendered to Krishna that, okay, take me wherever you want. So now Krishna thought that if Radharani has given up her natural mood, of leftist mood, then I should also give up my rightist mood. <laughs> so then, next verse comes. Evam ukta priya maha skandha aruhyam aruhyatam iti. So, Lord Krishna, he said, okay, if you cannot walk any further, then you sit on my shoulder. <laughs> I can carry you. <laughs> so, when Krishna said this, and then Srimati Radharani was going to Ride on the shoulder of Krishna. Then immediately what Krishna did? Tatas Chantar Dade Krishna. Then immediately Krishna disappeared from the sea. <laughs> so here, Srila Siddhar Swami says that in the first line of this verse, oh, Krishna is actually exhibiting the wretched condition of a lusty lover. When he says, that you climb on my shoulder, 
generally the lusty lovers they do this they submit to the beloved and go to the extent of taking the beloved and the shoulder sasla so, sidar sami says that krishna was exhibiting the precarious condition of the lusty lovers of this material world and in the second line when krishna says that uh, uh, he disappeared from the scene after saying this then sila sidar sami says that now krishna is exhibiting his supremacy that he is not an ordinary lover or lusty lover he is the supreme personality of godhead he is akhandita as it has been stated previously krishna has been stated previously as akhandita means he is complete he does not need anyone to become happy so what did krishna do immediately he disappeared showing his supreme nature so antar dade krishna krishna was standing there with simati radharani but simati radharani could not see krishna anymore so he disappeared immediately so here the acharyas are explaining in different ways that actually what happened that uh, this thing took place shila jibagoswami says that actually when it has been described here that shrimati radharani became very proud of her position being led away by krishna alone actually shrimati radharani was a falsely proud not actually proud and krishna disappeared after telling shrimati radharani you sit on my shoulder that was also krishna did this out of humor so what was the intention of shrimati radharani then if she was falsely proud and told that she could not walk any further so that means shila jiva goswami explains actually shrimati radharani wanted to stay there she did not want to go further with krishna because she was feeling very she was feeling for her own gopi friends because now she has left everyone and has come with krishna alone so she was thinking about her own gopi friends like lalita and visakha and others so paksha gopis his own group of gopis and also shrimati radharani has a lost the rival mood for the rivalry gopis because after enjoying with krishna to the topmost extent now she has no more man or no man no more rivalry for any other gopi 
सो श्रीमती राधारानी थर्ड इफ आई गो अवे फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस फर्दर एंड द अदर गोपीज दे वुड बी क्राइंग इन सेपरेशन ऑफ कृष्णा एंड दे वुड बी लुकिंग फॉर कृष्णा इन दिस वृंदावन फॉरेस्ट सो लेट मी स्टे हियर सो कृष्णा वुड स्टे नेचुरली विथ मी देन द गोपीज वुड कम एंड दे वुड सी अस एंड देन दे विल बी सैटिस्फाइड बाय सींग कृष्णा सो दैट वॉज द मूड ऑफ श्रीमती राधारायण so that's why she she told that i can do work for that but again krishna was thinking that the gopis have a rivalry among themselves though this is transcendental rivalry but krishna was thinking that uh, the Gopis had a rivalry, and now I have brought Shrimati Radharani alone. So they would not feel better in this situation. They would become envious of Shrimati Radharani because Radharani has come with me alone. and this would not be good for shrimati radharani that's a lord krishna wanted to show to other gopis the topmost position of shrimati radharani by putting shrimati radharani in separation so when krishna disappeared then naturally shrimati radharani would cry in separation of krishna and the other gopis looking for krishna they would come to this place and they would see shrimati radharani's position that how she would be crying in separation of me krishna was thinking and when they would see shrimati radharani's position in separation of me then they would be satisfied and then there will be no rivalry among them so that was the mood of krishna that he wanted to unite all the gopis together to release this rasa dance the to release this uh, mood of shringar rasa at the same time lord krishna was also thinking that now i have uh, given the opportunity to shrimati radharani to release this shringar rasa to the topmost point in union in sambhog and now i would want to release the shringar rasa to the topmost point in separation so now when radharani will be in separation of me she would exhibit the topmost mood mood of mahabhav because shrimati radharani is mahabhav mai this is the special characteristic of shrimati radharani 
महाभावस्वरूपेयम गुणे अति बरीय से श्रीमती राधा रानी इज महाभाव स्वरूप एंड शी हैज ऑल टॉपमोस्ट क्वालिटीज देन एनी अदर गोपी सो ना वन श्रीमती राधा रानी विल बी इन सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्णा नेचुरली शी वुड एग्जिबिट the topmost mood of separation in mahabhav and let other gopis see this and krishna himself also wanted to see this that how shrimati radharani is exhibiting her mood of separation to the topmost point in mahabhav Krishna himself wanted to see this, and he also wanted that all other gopis should also see the special characteristic of Shrimati Radharani. And for this reason, Krishna actually disappeared to give that feeling to Shrimati Radharani. that she would feel in separation of you so in this way krishna disappeared and shila uh, sukadev goswami is mentioning that sabadur annatapyata so when krishna disappeared from this scene so sabadu annatapyata so here sukadev goswami is telling instead of taking radharani's name he is telling badhu she is uh, he is describing simati radharani as badhu of krishna Badhu means bright, and um, Sri Baldev Vidyabhusan explains Badhu as Badnati Prema Rasanaya Priyam. That any uh, that bright who or uh, ties the priya the lover with the rope of love she is called badhu so that means the bride must have tied the lover or priya with prema with love the rope of love so simati radharani naturally has tied krishna with her prema with her love that's why she has been addressed here as badhu so sa badhu annatapyata simati radharani continuously anutapyata so continuously she was feeling separation and crying in separation of krishna so when krishna disappeared simati radharani was continuously crying in separation of krishna so that uh, description will come in later verses about the mood of separation of simati radharan and simati radharan exhibited this mood of separation to the topmost point of mahabhav 
with Prabhama. And when Krishna came as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he released this mood. In the mood of Srimati Radharani. So here, Srimati Radharani is also exhibiting her mood of Mahabhava in separation. And when this separation is there, then the union becomes more relishable. That's why separation is an integral part of love affairs in Sringaras. So Krishna exhibited that to give chance to Srimati Radharani to exhibit the topmost position of her in separation. So the gopis would see this and the whole world would also see this and Krishna himself also would see this. So Krishna wanted to exhibit the super position, the supreme position of Srimati Radharani to everyone, to the people in general, to the gopis and to himself. So we'll stop here. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Manas, for your friends. So, I have two questions actually. Radharani is called the internal potency, Lagini Shakti. So, my question is that uh, is she can be called as a gopi or uh, not? And my second question is that all the other gopis are on Jiva Tattva, they are called expansion of Radharani. First question that those Srimati Radharani is the internal potency of Krishna, she is also a gopi. Because Krishna came as a coward boy and he is eternally a coward boy, gopa. So Srimati Radharani is eternally a gopi. And her expansions, the gopi friends, they are also gopi. But some gopis, those who are jiva tattva and sadhana siddha, they attain siddhi in gopi bhav. They also join the nitya siddha gopis to learn the mood of nitya siddha gopis. So the chance was given to them, but not all of them are Nitya Siddhas. It seems that Yoga Maya works on the gopis because each gopi thought that Krishna was alone with, yeah. with them. Yeah. Yeah. Like the queens of Dwarka, they think Krishna is, you know, in fact he just follows me around. But, you know, and these are all eternal associates of the Lord and Krishna according to the relationship. Yes. With his mother Yashoda, Gopi's yeah. Dwarka, or Vrindavan, Yogamaya seems to have her hand in the whole matter. Yeah. <laughs> and so, as just regular fallen Jiva souls, we can't really understand Krishna and his activities. You know, we can't just look at it from a one sided view, like he's an ordinary person. Yeah. He really proves he's God. Yeah. But at the same time, it seems like uh, these relationships that he's having. He, his potency also takes a role in all that yes. as well. Lila Sakti. Yoga Maya is arranging everything. <laughs> Sometimes Krishna is also forgetting himself. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you for the wonderful class. Uh, can we also, I've heard, and maybe you can confirm, the word Vadu is uh, also explained in terms of Parkyas and because she gave up all her ties with her family along with other movies, that verse Nahab Parai in the 32nd chapter when Krishna says that I cannot repay you 
uh, even in a lifetime of not Dhamma. And the, all the ties that we have cut. So the word Vadu that we have heard before is a gopi who is married and Vadu also means one who expands. Meaning we even have the terminology in Hindi and other Indian languages where a woman who is married can expand herself into a family. Yes. So uh, to create that crescendo of appreciation of Radharani, Krishna created her separation. And although she was in Parkiras, Jaya Jaya Ujvalaras, Sarvaras Asar, Parkiya Bhave Jaha, Vrajita Prachar. So this last line, can we look at it from that uh, angle? Yeah. Actually, the seemingly, it is Parakiras. So, but when the gopis left for residence, their so-called husbands, they did not realize this, that their wives have, are not with them. They realized that the wives are with them in their home. And that is Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya created a set of gopis. Those who associated with their husbands. And the original gopis never associated with their husbands. They were all Christians, <laughs> Christians beloveds. But externally it seems like Parakya. Krishna wanted to realize that rasa. <laughs> but they are actually Sakya <laughs> in that way. But anyway, this Badhu Sabda is actually applied to married women. So, here, this uh, Srimati Radharani and the, all the gopis, those who are associating with Krishna, they were actually, Krishna was their husband. <laughs> <laughs> and they are never associated with their so-called husbands. So the Badhu Sabda is appropriate here. No problem <laughs> with that. Hare Krishna. Okay, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Jaya Sri Prabhupada ki. Jaya Sri Mati Radharani ki. Jaya Sri Radha Sam Sundar Tevi Sagadevi ki. Jaya Sri Krishna Balaram ki. Jai Sri Sri Gaur Nitai Ki, Jai Gaur Bhakta Vrind Ki, Nitai Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari. Sri 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 Sri